In this video, we talk about while loops in R. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, while loops are pretty easy to understand. Basically, while a condition is true, then the loop will keep running. So it'll keep looping through whatever is inside of that loop while whatever condition you've set up is true. And if that doesn't make sense, it will in about two minutes because it's a simple concept. So to do a while loop in R, you just type out while, and then you put in parentheses here, and inside the parentheses, you put in your conditional statement, so something that's either true or false. So just for the sake of example, I'll go ahead and write false real quick. And then you do a bracket, and you create a space between the two brackets, just like I did right here. And then you say, let's say with print, and hi. Now you'll notice that I'm using the print function here in order to go ahead and print text within a loop. So inside of a loop, you do need to use the print function to output uh, text. Whereas when you're outside of a loop, you can just say like, hi, and run that and it'll output the text. However, in a loop, you need to have the, the print function to, to print text. So I wanna point that out real quick. So while false, we're gonna print hi. So obviously this shouldn't produce anything, uh, but we'll go ahead and run it and, and see what happens. And you do need to highlight the entire uh, text here, the entire loop in order to run the entire block of text as a loop. And we see down here in the console, nothing was printed. So you see that it's white here because I ran it up here and it actually outputted high. Whereas with the loop, it just showed us that the loop ran, but you know it did not print or output anything uh, because it's false. So since it's false, it's not going to run, right? So if we change this to true, so while true, print high, and we run that. So let's highlight our text real quick and run it. And you see it starts printing and it's an infinite loop and it's going to run forever until my computer shuts down or something like that. Alternatively, I can come down here to the console and just hit the escape key and that would go ahead and break your infinite loop. So if you create an infinite loop, you just come down here, hit escape, and you'll be able to um, to break the loop. All right, so obviously you probably don't want to print something for the, for eternity. So let's go ahead and set up a condition real quick. So I'm just going to set up a variable, a, a simple a counter variable. So I'll go with x is equal to zero. Set it like that. So while x is less than 11, I will do x is less than or equal to 10. How about that? While x is less than or equal to 10, we want to go ahead and print high. So what if I run that? Let's try that. And I get an error message because I accidentally put a z there instead of x. So that was silly. All right, here, let's try that again and run it. And I get another error message because the object x is not found. So again, you have to store those variables that you're setting up. So there we go. My variable is stored now. Now let's go ahead and run that loop and see what happens. And I get an infinite loop again. So, hmm, something's fishy here. And that's simply because my X right here is not increasing, right? It's zero. And so it loops through and it's zero again. And it loops through and it's zero again. So it's just an infinite loop yet again. So we had to do something here. And in order to do something, we can just add one each time to our number. So we can do X and then is equal to X plus one, right? So now, Every time it loops through, we add one to our number for x. So let's run that loop again. And now we see we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven highs right there because I started with zero. Zero through ten is eleven. And there we go. Alternatively, just for the sake of example, I can go ahead and do that. Let me reset x to zero. And I'll go ahead and run my loop real quick. And we see now I got zero through 10 printed out for my while loop. And that's basically the concept of a while loop. Again, whatever you put in this bracket here or these parentheses, as long as it's true, your loop's gonna keep running um, until it is false. And when it's false, it's gonna kick out of the loop and, and it'll quit running. And so it's that easy. While loops are pretty easy to understand. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.